Hey everyone, welcome back to Sudo Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Ethernet connection between your Raspberry Pi Zero and any old computer to SSH into it through a USB cable. Now if you're silly like me and just picked up a Raspberry Pi Zero at Micro Center without thinking about the fact that it has a mini HDMI port, then this is the video for you. You can set this up and gain access to your Pi without a screen, a keyboard, or a mouse. Now before I go any further, if you're on Mac you don't have to worry about this, but you will need Bonjour installed on Windows. This is going to allow us to connect to the Raspberry Pi just using a hostname, so go ahead and download the print services version, I have a link down in the description, and you should be good to go. The first step is to get a fresh SD card and burn your Raspbian image onto it. I'm using Jesse Lite, and I'm just using Rufus to burn it onto the SD card. Once it's been burnt onto it, you should go into the boot drive that should appear on your desktop. If you're on Linux, you'll have two drives, and if you're on Windows, you'll just have the one boot drive. Either way, go to the boot drive and open up config.txt. At the very bottom of this file, you want to add dt overlay is equal to dwc2. Save and close out of it, and then open commandline.txt. Keep in mind that this one can be a little bit finicky on the format, so make sure you're just using the one line and do it properly. After the root weight, add a space and type modules-load is equal to dwc2 comma, with no space, g underscore ether. Make sure you have one space between all of the entries. Close this, and then finally we're going to add another file to the boot partition, which is just called ssh. This enables ssh because it's disabled by default. Make sure it doesn't have any kind of file extension like txt, and is totally empty. Once that's done, you can eject the SD card, put it in your Raspberry Pi Zero, and connect it over USB. Make sure you're using the USB data part and not the power. You can check the device manager, and under network adapters, you should see a USB Ethernet slash RNDIS gadget. You can just close device manager, because we don't need this, and open up PuTTY or the SSH client of your choice. The default hostname is raspberrypi.local, but if you change the hostname file, then use whatever that is. Then click open, and you should be connected to your Pi. So that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.